Welcome back to the garage, everybody. Working on the old Blue Willies again. Picking up where we left off, uh, I believe, late last week before I went to Overland Expo. And uh, just doing a lot of small part stuff today. A um, little bit of fabrication. And uh, I'll walk you around some of that stuff. And we'll go through the whiteboard and see where we're at. And uh, yeah, so let's see here. So today, um, went and attacked the whiteboard a little bit and uh, got through a few things. Uh, we'll go through the list here in a minute, but generally the big one was um, finally got the got the uh, air filter, math, mass airflow meter, um, all that attached um, for the first time and then mounted um, in the engine compartment where it's going to live. So this turned out pretty neat. It was a, uh, I did have to change this from a straight, uh, adapter to an angled adapter. This is a 22 degree adapter, I believe. I will try and, and post a picture of the part number or whatever, but basically four inch to three and a half inch. This side's a little big, this side's a little small, but it all fits. And that basically lowered this side of the filter to let it get underneath this edge of the hood here. And so you can see how it's basically lower than the top of the throttle body and kind of tucks into that corner. The, uh, the big thing was doing this, uh, let's see if I can get a better uh, view of that for you guys. So this is the, I, I 3D printed, designed 3D printed a, a, a mount for the MAF that kind of basically tucks the the filter, the lip of the mounting lip of the filter around the MAF mount or the MAF uh, sensor and all that. So that made it about another inch more compact to get this away from the fender and uh, get it offset to clear the dipstick here. Uh, we still have room for the, uh, I don't know if you can see in there or not, but we still have room for this heater hose in there. Um, the other heater hose kind of comes around in that area also. You can see it right there. And so that's all looking pretty good and that works out. I am going to do a mount for this filter with uh, a heat shield on it to reject the heat from the uh, headers. Um, it's a little close. It's not terrible. Um, probably three, four inches under there. But uh, I do have that, I don't know if you can see that down there, but we do have that sleeve we added. So we, we have something to build off of there and there to, uh, to do that. And then that brings up the question, oh, um, I did have to trim that, trim the, the elbow down slightly about a, a half to three eighths of an inch on either side. Um, the best way to do that, and I'll try to insert a picture here, is basically clamp it around something round um, that you happen to have. This was the press tool for part of the gas tank pump mount, but it, the diameter was just about perfect. So I was able to clamp firmly around that with one of the, uh, the nice straight edged um, T-bar clamps. And then I was able to use that and straighten it up to the factory end and get a pretty decent straight cut on either side. Um, so had to be a little shorter, but that wasn't too bad. Okay, so um, that brings us to the question of what to do with the computer. So this is the amount of space we have left. This, I think, is the, is the best area. Um, I'd like to, one thing, I'd like to keep everything mounted to either uh, the tub, um, engine, or frame, if you will. I don't want anything mounted to the, that, I, that I can help to the fenders. And so that way you can take off the fenders, nothing has to be unbolted, and you can work on all this stuff in here. So um, I think this area here is where the computer's gonna live. And I'm thinking that I'm going to have to build a mount to hold the computer in about this position here. And so it's, 
it's not as close as it looks to the header, but I still would like to get a little bit of a heat shield over that corner. But I think that mounting the computer about in that location will work and allow the, the wires to go where they need to go. And then you can still access the VIN tag. So I am going to be off looking for a computer mount. Hopefully I can find one that's kind of close so I don't have to completely make something from scratch, but this is where the computer's going to live. I think that's the best um, overall compromise at this point. Uh, and then on this side we did a oh, pointy stick. On this side we ran the rest of the uh, vacuum line for the um, uh, brake booster just from the factory jam fitting here. We made that adapter the other day. We went down and then we got to the Ford booster here. So I, I did make one little support bracket for the middle of the hose so it didn't flop around that just used a factory boss um, on the intake and a little zip tie. So that's pretty easy. Um, and then we did the, I don't know if you can see back there, but the fittings that we got for the um, fuel injection to convert them to AN-6 are there and they look like they will work. I will be able to do an elbow off each one of those to head that direction. Um, I think for the routing of the fuel lines, the routing on the fuel line is going to be on the, the passenger uh, frame rail away from the heat of the exhaust as much as possible. Uh, got some of the adapters for the master cylinder um, installed. This one's looking a little tight. I might have to do something in the edge of the fender for line clearance, um, but I'm going to wait on that because I'm kind of tired of cutting up my fenders. And then this was kind of a fun one. I did a uh, remote reservoir for the clutch master cylinder that's hidden, hidden down there with this Ford uh, Ranger style pedal pack. So the the uh, clutch master is mounted at a 45 degree angle underneath the booster and then comes up into this area here, um, but basically lets you run a much larger booster than you would normally be able to fit with a hydraulic clutch. So this clutch uh, or this brake reservoir is actually just off of a rear brake of a dirt bike. Um, it, exactly uses the same fluid. So that works out good. It even kind of matches the, the theme of everything. Um, and then uh, it had a little tab mount on it over here. And so I just built this little aluminum bracket right here that just bolted to the leftover threads on the brake booster uh, to master cylinder mount and was able to sneak that in this little pocket here just like I kind of almost knew what I was doing and then the hose just runs you can see that just runs down there and connects to the connects to the master cylinder down there so all that looks pretty darn factory um, and so that brings us to our board and I've kind of gone through and and uh, took some stuff off of here and so we can add some more stuff on we're going to start erasing stuff um, we got through all the throttle body, uh, math mount stuff is all uh, technical difficulties. So um, we did get the headers converted to uh, V bands and we did all that when we did the exhaust mock-up in the last video. Um, we got the vacuum booster um lines all adapted we did find the uh ecm we're still going to look for a mount and we do think it is going to go on the firewall though so take off the question mark it is going to go on the firewall just need to find a bracket that's kind of the right orientation um we did the master cylinder adapter fittings we got that handled uh, I do need to track down the clutch master fitting, so I think that's kind of a Ford part. It's a little weird, so I might have to do something there. 
Um, we did get the remote reservoir for the master cylinder sorted out, parts, all that's attached. Uh, the uh, let's see here. So MAF mount, stabilizer. Um, we got the the mount started, but not finished to the heat shield yet. Uh, and then we got power steering stuff. That's still a little ways out. I do need to want to order the pump, though. I'll get that coming. Uh, I'm still looking for a flywheel. Uh, Clutch pressure plate is a little bit out. Um, uh, I do need to do a little research on a SM420 revert li reverse light. The one that I have does not have a reverse light switch in it. I don't think they did. A lot of all of them did stock, so need to see about that. We got the PTO mount to the Y pipe um, bracket done. We did find the starter. Uh, found the bolts. Um, all that works other than we need to, the different bell housing. The radiators clamped down and all of the fuel line fittings um, on the fuel rail side are done. So starting to get a little bit smaller. Felt good to make some progress. But uh, yeah, so that's what we did today. Um, need to get all the uh, exhaust parts coming here shortly and then... Um, yeah, it's just we'll just keep ticking away at stuff when we got time. And I wanted to thank you for following along. If you have any questions, uh, just drop a comment below. And if you like, uh, you know, like this kind of content, definitely give us a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel and uh, ring the bell if you want to be notified. So thanks for following along. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.